Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we beat the sand ship in Tentalus, and we got some goddess cube treasures, but we were going to save this until this episode. Um, uh, and we got that. Now, I've noticed in the last uh, few episodes or so, like eight, my sound has been too loud, and I really do apologize for that. I know that's annoying to some people. It's annoying to me, for sure. And we rise. Yeah, we get to learn another song. Um, yeah. Um, I have important information. You struck the crest with a skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, master. Here are her words. Or, these are her words. He who seeks the sacred flame to listen well, for I am the one guiding you from the place at the edge of time. The last of the sacred flame still eludes you. To obtain it, you must claim another sacred gift. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with another gift. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will most certainly find the path to the sacred flames. Now I bestow on to you another melody, but it serves as a key for unlocking your final trial. It awaits you upon Elden Volcano. So, because we're on a volcano, this one's going to be a little more upbeat, you know, kind of like the Bolero of Fire. So our next destination is the Volcano. And this is probably, you know, my least favorite of the three revisits, but I think it's everybody's. Mostly due to one reason, but we'll go into that later. According to my records, the song you just heard is called Din's Power. Use the song to locate the last trial. You learn Din's power. Okay. Now, before we go to Elden Volcano, as always, we're going to make a stop at Skyloft and see what we can do there. So, um, as soon as Five stops talking, I'm going to meet you at Skyloft. So, yes, our dowsing has been upgraded so we can now locate the final gate. And of course, remember, we got eight dowsing things, so we're going to be able to douse for some more stuff. Um, yeah. Wait, it's in here? No. Alright. Um, so, in, in, um, when I meet you back, we'll be on Skyloft. And I'll find something to do. Bye. Well, if you're looking for things to do once you come back to Skyloft, you can never go wrong with Beetle Shop. Um, so the first, uh, I have two options. Well, I have the Bug Metal 2, and I'm, I'm going to save that, like, just for the end, like, something I only use for the sake of 100%. Um, Adventure Pouch or Life Metal? Huh. I'm actually, even though I want the Adventure Pouch more, I'm going to get the Life Metal. Because the Adventure Pouch, because it's his last one, costs a lot. In fact, it'll leave us with zero rupees. Because we finally have enough for it for the first time, but it'll leave us with zero rupees. So I'm not going to be able to upgrade anything or get anything else for now. But this will help. I mean, of course, you know, without the extra pouch, we won't be able to do anything. But that's the way it is. I haven't really checked to, make it to see if we can actually can get anything from, uh, from, uh, Betro. But there is something else I know we can do. It's actually a heart piece we can get. Yeah. Well, I don't know. What, what, what should we do first? Heart piece or, um, goddess cube treasures? There are definitely some goddess cube treasures. Oh, yeah. We need the claw shot for both of these, which is why they've been eluding us for so long. And there's actually one, I didn't need to do that, but um, while I was um, upgrading my treasures off screen, like, you know, while I was in the sand sea and I just made that decision, like, we're way behind, I gotta do this. I remember this chest, which was one of the first ones we saw, it's actually now open, uh, so we can get that now. Um, let's do it. Oh, also, there's something else I want to show, where you can, like, sell treasures, but I'll do that later. Oh, I just remembered another thing. Um, we, I think that we can go back to Fledge now and get the, uh, actually get the, uh, the Gratitude Crystals, so that will help. Yeah. 
Yeah. There's gotta be something on this side here. No? Really? All this and it's just a chair, but there's like nothing else? Oh no. Uh, I just remembered that uh, I accidentally uh, used a nunchuck that didn't, that the motion was broken on, so I'm not gonna be able to use my shield, I'm not gonna be able to do a spin attack, and I'm not gonna be able to roll. But other than that, which I didn't get the cute the treasure. Yeah, I did. I can tell by my amount of rupees. So before I did anything stupid, I made sure to be smart. Um, so yeah, there's actually a bit on Skyloft you can do with your claw shot. So even though it might not have all the uses that it did in Twilight Princess, they at least made sure to go and put you know some things you could do with it, which is always nice. Uh, of course, we now have the bow and arrow, which we can upgrade. It's not a great upgrade, but, you know, it's part of 100%. I really still don't know if I'm going to get all of the, uh, all of the things, though. And by things, I mean, uh... Yeah, so this is what we can do now that we have the claw shot. Um, there's something right over there, but I'm actually going to go high up first. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm not even sure why I did this now. Actually, you know, I am going to save it till later because there's a lot more we can do up there. At night. So even though it's right there, I'm going to save it. But I will get that one now. Maybe we have to jump from the very top. Oh no, I hate that this happens. So yeah. So yeah, um, as you have noticed recently, I'm uh, now all of this not cutting crap is gonna stop because I now have what I consider to be a good thing. Maybe it might still have some errors that I unforeseen. I'm right now, I'm uploading the final boss of Sonic Unleashed, which I had to um, do something with because, well, I didn't because. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything. Well, no, that video will be up, maybe, by the time this one gets up. I'm just afraid that, like, that's not actually the video. It's just the file or something. But no, it's got to be the video. I'm very sure. So do I jump from here? I think I do. Yeah. Yes, that's it. That's the ticket. Man, if we do get go up and get that other treasure now, we would be able to get that adventure pouch. So let's just do it. Maybe. I mean, what if it only has, like, 100? I think that the ones on Skyloft, though, never have what... They always have rupees, as far as I know, or slash remember. So, yeah. So let's just get this now, and then we'll be able to get something else at Beetle Shop. Like that uh, adventure pouch, which will be useful. Hopefully it's enough, and if not, we'll find a way. Yeah. Now, the reason I didn't want to do this at night, because there's actually two things to do up here at night. The, the reason I did want to do this at night. Uh, there's two things to do up here at night. One, there's actually a gratitude crystal up here. I know that. And there's also some... Oh, that's a piece of heart! That's nice! Uh, although... So I guess we're going to get two pieces of heart this video. Hey, you know, a piece of heart is always good because I'm missing 12 right now. I don't know where, I don't know the first thing about where they are. I'm pretty sure there's half of them in Goddess Cube. Oh, we got a Goddess Plume. Yeah. I mean, we, we like don't even need any of these anymore, so we can like just wait until the guy's selling them. I talk about that all the time, but I've never shown it. Don't worry, it's gonna, I'm getting him showing it soon. Now, the reason I, um, you see that thing like way over there? We'll go, we'll go there now, this is kind of as a preview. Yeah, on top of the windmill is a nest, and... Wait, can we get this now? If we can get this now, this would be, like, really sequence-breaking, but... You know what? Fine, let's do it. You got a rattle, it's a baby's toy, perhaps somebody dropped it. Wait, why do I think it needs to be night for you to do this? Because it doesn't. Yeah, the only thing it needs to be night for is the Gratitude Crystal that's up there. I'm pretty sure that, um, 
Well, it does need to be night because the people aren't that want the rattle aren't in their houses except at night. So we're gonna do that later. For now, we're gonna go to the academy and talk to Fledge at night. But we're not gonna get in the normal way because you might have thought that there were only two ways to get in the academy. But I'm about to show you that you're wrong, and I'm gonna get another uh, sky stag beetle. Oh wait a minute, I can't. Maybe I can though. Yeah, I just do it that way. Shoot, I hope that this is not going to cost me, like, coming up here. Mm, can't believe the motion sensors work. I don't even know why I did that. I could have just, uh... Yeah, the easy way to do this is to go up here. So we went up here in the very first episode, like when we were just learning how to climb and stuff. But there's more we can do now. I want to do this just to see. Yeah, it just dropped the ruby. 199 less than the one in Twilight Princess did, but okay. There's something else up there too, I feel. Is there, what is that? Nothing. Yeah, that right there is what I want. Yes, right here. Shoot, I wanted to do this at night because, oh, yeah, we're in the attic of Skyloft. If you went in here at night, you would be able to see why the bath was unlocked, why the bath was locked at night. And I kind of wanted to show that. Well, I should have just did the other thing first, man. Well, anyway, this is Zelda's room. We're finally here. This is how you get into the place that's locked all the time. This is Zelda's journal. One of the entries is unfinished. Read the entry. It's probably going to be sad. Tomorrow's the big day. The wig ceremony. Time finally. Link can take a big step before coming tonight. Aww. 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 <laughs> so sad. It reminds me of something, um, uh, in, uh, in class. <laughs> In class, we, um, in the, uh, American Literature class last year, we had a project to create a Facebook page for the character, for a character from The Great Gatsby, and my friend chose to do, yeah, open that and you get a piece of heart. After all game of being told not to look in other people's dressers, they hide a heart piece in there, which is pretty much just like the thing how they tell you don't spend it all in one place, you know, that kind of thing. But anyway, what I was saying, we had a project to do. My friend chose Mr. Gatsby, and his last, and um, his post, his, like, they're supposed to make a bunch of posts on your wall, and his last post was, going swimming, exclamation point. And my, my teacher, like, literally was like, oh. Yeah. You know, I kind of want that project, because I worked really hard on that. I did a uh, Nick Carraway, but uh, I wonder where it is. Unfortunately, that teacher is not here anymore, which you know is really sad to me. That's my favorite teacher ever. Like ever. Anyways, uh, we gotta go back in Fledge's room. Oh man, I should have slept in her bed. But no, we're going to have to sleep in Fledge's bed, which is probably all sweaty by now with all the workouts he's doing. But sleeping in Zelda's bed would be too sad, right? I mean, what do you compare that to? Well, the thing is, though, I mean, I just remembered, like, we know she's okay at this point. Because she was never really in any danger for a long time. In fact, just the opposite. She was actually doing something very heroic. Whoa! Whew, well that was a nice warm-up. Hey Link, I was just hoping you'd come by. I wanted to ask you something. The other day I tried with some barrels and I was able to do it with one arm. Think that means I've got enough muscle? Yeah, I think you look too strong. Oh, huh, you're just saying that. It's still nice to hear it. So all thanks to you, Link. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gave you steroids. But... Part of 100%, you know? 
Miss Alta not only does this, but, I mean, you spent so much time, you gotta get more than the gratitude crystals, right? Well, you do. I'm pretty sure, because 40 is half of 80, we have to get something for getting half, right? I think this unlocks a, a mini game. Yeah, you need the bow and arrow, and you need this to be able to do it. So we're gonna keep it at night, and, uh, we're gonna head on over to a house. Because we kind of did this out of order. Uh, you know what, I'll just do that in the next episode, I think. Okay, yeah, bye.